Her name is Ra Ra. This is for the ones who wanna know why. Giving you the facts so your knowledge goes sky high. Ra Ra, Ra Ra, Ra Ra, Ra See you soon. And don't forget to check out Ra Ra's Did You Know section at the end of this video. Welcome, young nature enthusiasts, to a blooming adventure all about sunflowers. In this enchanting kids YouTube video, our cheerful host will take you on a journey through vibrant scenes, captivating stories, and even a fun quiz. Get ready to learn all about sunflowers, their different types, and more. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more exciting nature exploration. Plus, stay tuned for the, did you know, segment at the end. Hey there, budding botanists. I'm your host, Rai Rai, and today, we're diving into the world of sunflowers, nature's brightest stars. Sunflowers come in all shapes and sizes. Let's discover the charming diversity of sunflower varieties together. Here are some of the different varieties of sunflowers and some of their unique characteristics. The teddy bear sunflower with fluffy blossoms. The red sunflower a favorite at flower shops. The Mongolian giant sunflower with its wide blossoms. The sun fill sunflower whose petals are spiky. The Italian white sunflower which can withstand wind. The lemon queen sunflower loved by bees. And the Mexican sunflower a favorite of monarch butterflies. Sunflowers are famous for their unique ability to follow the sun across the sky. From sunrise to sunset, they turn their heads to catch the most sunlight. This is called heliotropism, a fancy word for sun tracking. Some sunflowers can grow incredibly tall, reaching heights of up to 15 feet or more. That's like having a sunflower tower in your garden. The tallest sunflowers ever recorded are true giants of the plant world. It's absolutely amazing to see their majestic heights, especially when you are standing next to one. Quiz time. Test your sunflower knowledge. Let's put your sunflower smarts to the test with a three-question quiz. Question 1. What is the unique ability of sunflowers to follow the sun called? A. Sun dancing. B. Sun hopping. C. Heliotropism. Question 2. How tall can some sunflowers grow? A. 3 feet. B. 10 feet. C. 15 feet. Question 3. What part of the sunflower can be roasted and eaten as a snack? A. Roots. B. Leaves. C. Seeds. Share your answers in the comments below, and let's see how well you know these sunny wonders. Sunflowers produce seeds that are not only tasty but also healthy. Sunflower seeds are rich in nutrients and can be roasted and eaten as a snack. Birds, squirrels, and humans all love these delicious treats. Throughout history, sunflowers have been a source of inspiration for artists and a symbol of happiness. The famous artist Vincent van Gogh even painted a series of sunflower paintings that are cherished around the world. Let's reveal the answers to our sunflower quiz. Question 1. The unique ability of sunflowers to follow the sun is called C. Heliotropism. Question 2. Some sunflowers can grow as tall as C. 15 feet. Question 3. The part of the sunflower that can be roasted and eaten as a snack is C. Seeds. Great job if you got them right. We hope you've enjoyed learning about these amazing sunflowers today. Remember to keep exploring the wonders of nature, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting adventures. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. But wait, there's more. Stay tuned for our, did you know, segment at the end, where we'll unveil some surprising sunflower facts. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? This sunflower plant has finished its life cycle. It's dying, so it's time to cut it down. Never do this without it grown up on your watch, please.
This is a petal of a sunflower. These are its ray flowers. The, the disc flower and the ray flowers are a part of the sunflower. The disc flowers got its name because it was shaped in a disc. Like this. Do you see the disc? I do. And, and the ray flowers got its name because these petals make the sunflower look like a ray. And you might think the bees just suck up nectar from the seeds. No, if they come from these little flowers. You can take them off so, so you can take a look at the seeds, like this. Brush them off. If you want, you can cool these off. So you can see the whole seeds. All right, we're going to set that down so it can dry. And we'll, and we'll see you back in a few. Bye. I was just cutting off the head of a sunflower. No, not that kind of head. This is the head of a sunflower. It's it's the part where, where the flower hangs on to. The sunflower is finally dried out. Time to get the seeds out. Pop them out like this. Pop, 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 pop. You might want to put them in a bag, especially with tables on holes. And if you have, and if it's windy in your place, you should probably put something down to hold down the bag so it doesn't blow away and ruin your, and ruin your shot. <laughs> That's what I mean. This is chocolate syrup. I know most of the people who are watching love chocolate syrup, but come forward back. So, this is a Florenzo sunflower. It smells just like chocolate. <laughs> and it says for Florenzo sunflower right here. Look for this kind of sunflower if you want to smell your favorite kind of chocolate.